Welcome to Donna Cooking and in this week's video we are literally going to be making the best scones that you've ever had. So come on with me in this video and let's get started. get this scone recipe started right now and we're going to start off by adding two and a quarter cups of flour into our bowl. Next we'll be adding a quarter cup of whole wheat flour. Heaping quarter cup of sugar. Half a teaspoon of soda. Two teaspoons of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just gonna whisk this all together really quick. Now I'm gonna be dumping in three quarter cup of butter and as you can see, I cut it into little cubes and I've kept it very cold. So it's really important to have nice flaky uh, dough and by having very cold butter, that's how you can get that. So I'm just gonna dump this on in here now what I'll be doing is just cutting in the butter into the uh, flour until they're like little peas. Now with my clean hands, I've just worked through the flour mixture and made sure that the butter was all evenly distributed and in little small pieces like this. So now it's ready to add the wet ingredients. So in my measuring cup, I've measured out an eighth of a cup of an egg, which is literally like half an egg. And then I've made buttermilk out of milk and just a little bit of vinegar. And so I'm gonna fill the rest of the cup up with the buttermilk mixture. And then if I need to, we'll be adding more of the buttermilk. We're just gonna drizzle that in. Save a little bit here. And then also add a teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'm gonna slowly combine this and we want it just moistened. You can do this in a mixer also. I added just a little bit more of the buttermilk, maybe like, um, a tablespoon, two tablespoons, till I get just this nice sticky dough. So there it is, and now we'll be forming it into our scones. Now I went ahead and wrapped it in a little bit of um, saran wrap, and I'm gonna stick it in the fridge so it can be cold while I get the filling all ready. So that way it'll keep it nice and chilled and flaky for when we bake it. Now making the scones, I used a quarter cup on some and a third of a cup on the other ones. So as you can tell, they're a little bit different sizes here. And they do expand when they cook. So that's just a personal preference. So to make them, all you do is measure it out, put it on the cookie sheet, and then press it down and make a little rim all the way around the edge and that will be for your filling. We do not want our filling running all over the cookie sheet, right? Now I'm gonna be adding two tablespoons right now into one of the larger ones. And like one tablespoon into the little ones. Don't these scones look amazing? I got them all filled. Just gonna brush just a little bit of milk around the edges and put them in the oven to bake. Mm -hmm. 
Now I made strawberry scones today, but you can totally do other flavors. You can buy the filling from the grocery store. I just recommend adding, uh, say if you get blueberry, to add like say two more cups of blueberries to the can of blueberry pie filling. And same with say apples or cherries. Just drain some of the liquid out so it's not quite so thick. That way it won't drain onto your cookie sheet. So I'm putting my strawberry scones in the oven right now. I just made a really quick recipe of cream cheese frosting that I can drizzle over the top of the scones when they are all cooled. So I'll be linking this recipe in the description box below the video, okay? All right, they just came out of the oven and I baked them at 375 for 20 minutes and they turned out a perfect golden brown, just how I want them to be. Thanks for coming along with me in this video, making the strawberry scones. I had lots of fun making them and I'm gonna have more fun having one with my coffee today. So let me know if you guys make one and try a different filling. And until next time, happy cooking. I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.